Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God. This is a great day to be in the Lord. It is the 21st of June, 2022. It's a Tuesday. Oh my goodness, God is so great in our lives and no matter what, he is worthy to be praised. Honor and glory to the King. I'm totally excited. This is Sister Servant Soldier Amina Light jumping on with you again this afternoon and just for a brief prayer session. And the prayer session is really focused on the God of the impossible. So all those things that seem impossible, all those things that seem like they cannot happen in our lives, the God that we serve is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above whatever we could ever ask, think, or even imagine because he is the great and mighty God and he's going to show himself mighty in our lives. So we have to continue being motivated, continue being encouraged, continue being steadfast and unmovable always abounding in the things of the Lord, always being excited for what God is doing right now in this moment. Whew, glory to God. I just ask that, you know, as you come in and, and watch the video, if you'd like, subscribe to the channel. Um, there's prayer on here. The word of God is here and the anointing of God is here. The oil of God is here. And this, the peace of the Holy Spirit is on this channel. So subscribe to the channel, uh, put up the like button, share the video with others so that they can be motivated and encouraged too. And join me in prayer, join our faith together, and we will be a mighty force as we unify in Christ Jesus. We will be a mighty force in the tearing down of the kingdom of darkness, the tearing down of the kingdom of Satan, the tearing down of the kingdom of all things that are not of God in Jesus mighty name. So we're going to jump right in. According to our faith on today, Father God, we thank you. We praise you. We magnify you, Lord. We love you for who you are. You are God and God alone, yet and still on the throne. You are a great and a mighty God. You are worthy of all of our praise. You are worthy of all the honor, all the glory. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for being Jehovah Jireh. God, you are our provider. Jehovah Rapha, God, you are our healer. You are our deliverer. You are our way maker. You are our light in the darkness. You are a great and a mighty God. You are a miracle worker. And you said that even these signs shall follow us who believe. And we believe you today, Lord. We believe you for things that are unbelievable. We believe you for things that the world says is impossible. Everything that may look impossible in the lives of the different ones that are coming on today to watch or even coming on at a later time. Whatever seems impossible in your life is not impossible. It is possible through God. According to our faith, we have to trust and believe. So, Father, we thank you right now for faith. We thank you for belief. In the word of God, the man came and he was asking Jesus for help. And Jesus said, do you believe? And he said, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. So, if there's any area of unbelief in your life right now, we call for the Lord to help that unbelief by faith and Anything that looks impossible is being made possible. If you are experiencing sickness in your body, the Lord is a healer. He is healing those areas where doctors said that they can't help you, where doctors have turned you away and said there's nothing that they can do. God, the God of healing, Jehovah Rapha, is a God that is able to heal those things that medical science doesn't even understand. You're going through things in your family home with your children, and it seems like the children don't want to do right, don't want to act right, don't want to live for God, be encouraged and know that in God's perfect timing, they shall serve the Lord. Don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. Continue to pray and continue to believe. We're believing right now for all of our children to come into the kingdom of Christ and to be saved in the name of Jesus. We're believing right now by faith that in your perfect timing, oh God, our children will be delivered from every snare and every trap of the enemy. They are even coming in now. We cover them in the blood of Jesus Christ as they come forth into the kingdom of glory, into the kingdom of God. We believe God for great and mighty things concerning our children. Hallelujah. We speak over our children and our grandchildren, and we believe God for great and magnificent things in their life, for them to be raised up as sons and daughters of the Lord Most High, for them to be raised up 
as missionaries and evangelists, for them to be raised up as pastors and to be raised up as apostles, for them to be raised up as prophets, as them to be raised up as seers, the seer anointing, dreamers, hallelujah, and interpreters of dreams. We're praying right now that they be raised up speaking in tongues and being fire baptized in the Holy Spirit and walking in the anointing, the power and the authority of God. We believe you, God, for these great and mighty things because you are not a man that you should lie, nor the son of man that you repent, Father God. You are holy. Hallelujah. You are righteous. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to your name. Lord, we're believing you for more. We're believing you for increase in areas where it looks like we're not being increased. Increase us in the word of God so that we can be strengthened in your power and your might, holy God. Increase us right now by your spirit. Pour out the Holy Spirit and give us more power. Power, power from on high. You've given us the authority and the dominionship in all of the land. We stand firm on your authority and your dominionship, Father God, and we're continue to believe in you, in Jesus' mighty name. Increase us, O oh God, in faith. Increase us, O oh God, in belief. Increase us in the spiritual gifts, the gifts of the spirit. Hallelujah. Increase us in the fruit of the spirit, O oh God. Increase us in love and in grace and in mercy. Hallelujah. In faith, increase us. Increase us in our mind and in our soul, in our spirit, man. Increase us. Increase us. Make us bold. Give us that holy boldness. Hallelujah. The holy Hey, move right now mightily move mountains on our behalf in the name of Jesus. We put up our right hand of faith. We put up our right hand of trust. We put up our right hand of belief. We believe you, God. Hallelujah. We believe that Jesus Christ, they bolt your hands to the cross. We believe that they put those nails in your hands. Oh, glory. And when they did that, oh, glory to God, all of that that was done on Calvary was for us, for us to be able to walk in the power and the authority, for us to be able to walk in what we are believing you for. Lord, we're believing you for great increase in the name of Jesus. We're believing you for the manifestation of your glory, the manifestation of your glory, the ma manifest in our lives, Father God. Show your hebabashayo, show yourself mighty in our lives, oh God. Show yourself mighty in our lives, mighty in our lives, mighty, 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 mighty. Prove yourself mighty in our lives, oh God. Prove yourself mighty to all the naysayers, all those that say that it's not possible. All those that are speaking against the things that you've promised, You've promised us that we will come into wide open spaces. You've promised that you will expand our borders and expand our territories. Father God, you promised that you will increase us in stewardship, being better stewards over the things you give us. Father God, you said you will increase us in managing, managing everything you give us. It's not always about money management. Money management is important, but there are other things that are even more important. Money shall come when we manage things that you give us properly. So, Lord, we thank you right now for management. We want to be managers of our time. We want to give you the first fruit of our day. Time is so valuable. Time is so precious. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Father God. So, right now, we are asking that you increase us in time management. We want to manage our time better. We want to take the time that you give us in the day, and we want to take and separate that time for you you, Father God, giving you honor, praise, and glory. It is so important that we invest time in you and spending time with you by reading your word, praying, listening to what you are saying. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, what you're speaking to the church. Glory to your name right now. Father God, we thank you for being good time managers, managers of our time and giving you the first fruit of our day. It is so important to give you the first of everything. Hallelujah. You're training us up and strengthening us to be great men managers over our children and how we how we parent them in the name of Jesus. You're giving us great management skills and how we manage the ministry work that you give us. You're giving us great management skills and everything that you put in our hands to do, everything that you place our feet to go, everywhere you place our feet to go. We are managing those footsteps. We are managing those assignments. We are managing and stewarding everything you're pouring into us. And Father, we thank you for making us 
great managers and great stewards having management skills. Hallelujah. And as you begin to increase us financially, Father God, we are great stewards over the finances you give us. We are great managers over the finances that you give us. And we will give our first fruits to you. We will give the best of the, ah, we will give the best of our offering to you. We will give you our 10% in tithe, no matter how small the increase is, no matter how big the increase is. If it's a ten dollar increase we will give our one dollar of tithes if it's a hundred dollars of an increase we will give our ten dollars of tithes if it's a thousand dollar increase we will give a hundred dollars in our tithes if it's ten thousand dollars increase we will give our thousand dollars in our tithes Father God, we will not only just give tithes, but we will give offering. Ha. We will be good managers and good stewards and give you a offering. We will give you grain offering and fruit offering and love offering. And we will not only just give you our tithes and our offering, but we will sow seed. So we need to understand the word of God. <laughs> there's three forms of giving. Ha. Three, there's three forms of giving. There's tithing to God, which is 10% of everything that we get. And that comes out first. We give it to God first, 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 first. It's not that God is interested in money. He's in heaven. He doesn't need money. What is he going to spend it on? He owns everything. He's the owner of the paycheck. Ha ha. He's the owner of the IRS. Hey, hey. He's the owner of the government. Ha ha. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. He's the owner of everything. A cattle on a thousand hills. Everything is the Lord's. So it's not that he needs our money, but what he is looking looking at is are we disciplined are we disciplined are we good stewards will we obey the word of god and pay our tithes and do the things we're supposed to do so that's number one paying our tithes father god increase us in paying tithes give us more discipline and stewardship and management of paying our tithes oh glory to god our offering giving that offering oh god placing on our heart to give abundantly to be very generous when we give offering in the name of Jesus. We want to give a blessed offering. Hallelujah. We don't want to hold our fist tight and be stingy. Glory to God. We don't want to be stingy and prideful, but we want to have open hands and give. Ha <laughs> ha. We want to give offering in the name of Jesus. You said whatever you have placed in your heart to give that so ye shall give. Oh, we got to come out of this place of being small minded and wanting to give small things. Oh, we We've got to give in abundance and we've got to give even when we're in a place where we may believe that, oh, well, I don't have that much money. Why should I give that? We got to give in faith, ha, believing God, believing God to move mightily on our behalf. And as we give, press down, shaken together, hallelujah, man shall also give into our bosom. That is the word of God that we are praying on today. Now, the third form of giving is to sow seed. Hallelujah. The Bible says that he will give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. Thank you, Jesus. Bless us, Lord, and teach us to how to not eat our seed. <laughs> there are times that God gives us seed. Sometimes he gives us a seed. Oh, glory to God. And we eat the seed. We eat the seed and we don't sow it. Ah, we don't sow it into ministries. We don't sow it into people. We don't sow it into different places where we should sow it. We don't invest it. We don't do anything with it, but go out to eat dinner. Hey, about Sonda. We don't do anything with it, but go out and buy stupid things that mean nothing. We don't do anything with it, but go and buy more clothes that, 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 that are not even necessary. We just go buy more shoes. We buy more perfume. We buy more purses. We buy more this and more that and more, 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 more. But we're not sowing it. We're not sowing it. We're not sowing it. Oh, God, help us to sow. Ah, give us the anointing to be sowers. Give us the anointing to be sowers into your kingdom. Sowers into ministries. Sowers, 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 sowers and harvesters. Everybody wants to have reap a harvest but we've got to sow and we've got to not only just sow money. Hallelujah. Because tithing happens when we tithe our time. 10% of our time goes to you, Father. 10% of our money goes to you. Hallelujah. We offer you our time, Father God, just like we pay offering in money. We sow our time into you and your kingdom, Father God, just like we sow money. 
Huh, glory. That's a revelation just came down. Hallelujah. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your revelation. Glory to your name. Holy God. So we want to sow time. We want to invest time into people. We want to invest being a shoulder to lean on, a shoulder to cry on. We want to invest ourselves in all the things that are kingdom, Father God. Help us to do that and help us to trust you. Help us to believe in you. Help us to move forward. Help each and every one of us to increase in your faithfulness, increase in your kingdom, increase, increase, increase. Help us to increase in the things that you love, Father God. And not the things that we think or the things that we believe that are right according to the world, but the things that are biblically right, the things that are biblically sound. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Glory to your name, God. Lord, we thank you right now for your divine move, for your divine power, for your divine oil, for your divine anointing, for your divine strength, for your divine authority that you've placed on our lives. We are walking in the authority of Christ and nothing can hinder, block, or stop that, Lord. We cancel every assignment of the enemy right now that would want to come against this prayer, would want to come against this move of your spirit, this move of the faith, this move of belief, this move of trust, this move of power, this move of authority, this move of anointing. Right now, we cancel every assignment of the enemy. Glory to your name. We surround this prayer in the blood of Jesus Christ. This prayer is going up as a sweet scent, a sweet scent, a sweet aroma. It's going up as a smoke. It's going up as an incense. It's going up as an incense unto God, an incense, an incense, a sweet aroma, a sweet aroma. It's going up into the nostrils of God, into the nostrils of God. He is taking it into his nostrils and he is receiving this sweet aroma, this sweet scent because of faithfulness. Ah, God is faithful and he wants us to be faithful. 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 So this prayer is going up as a faithful prayer, a faithful sweet scent, a faithful sweet aroma in the name of Jesus. And nothing is going to hinder it. Nothing is going to stop it. Nothing is going to block it. Nothing is going to tear it down. Nothing is going to ruin it. Nothing is going to take it off. Nothing is going to take it away in Jesus mighty name, because this prayer is covered in the blood of Jesus Christ. This prayer is covered in the fire of the Holy ghost. This prayer is covered in the all consuming fire of God. This prayer is being received even now ha, as it goes forth. Tap into this prayer. Tap into this anointing. Tap into the faith of Jesus Christ. Tap into the faith of God. Tap into the trust and belief. Hallelujah. Trust in God more and more every single day as this prayer goes forth into the atmosphere. As this prayer goes forth into every realm and every dimension. Into the solar system, the galaxies, the universe. As this prayer goes into the firmament, into the heavenlies. As this prayer goes throughout the land, throughout the earth, and even Hayababosaya, and even as it goes through the marine kingdom in any place, even if this prayer goes through the gates of hell, even the gates of hell shall not prevail against it in the name of Jesus, because this prayer has already been established, it's already been anointed, it's already been appointed, it was already set before the foundation of the world, because God knew that this day would come, and this prayer was over all already written in his book because he is the author and the finisher of our faith and by faith we believe God hallelujah 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 thank you Jesus Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We magnify you. We worship you. We glorify you, Lord God. You are a great and a mighty God, and we honor you. We honor you. We honor you with everything that we have. We honor you, and we believe you to move. Move in our families. Move in every situation. If there's any legal situations, any uh, uh, court situations, any, any situations for people that are facing prison or people that are in prison, Right now, Lord, move, move, do the impossible. Make even the judges drop their mouth to the ground. Make even the lawyers be shocked. Shame the devil. Make an open show of Satan concerning every single thing that anyone is standing in the need of. Everything anyone is standing in the need of. Make that situation shame before the person that is petitioning you for prayer, Father God. Because you are able to do the impossible. 
you are able to do the impossible because you are a great and a mighty God. And Lord God, we are standing in belief for every single person that is just going through right now and is in the need of this and that and this and that and this and that and this and this and this and this and this. God, you know the needs. You know the desires. You know the wants. You know the have to haves. So Lord, you show up. You show up in a mighty way. You show up in a mighty way. Hold, hey, ya baba shay, yo, do, 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 ya. You show up in a mighty way, Father God, and change that situation. For each and every one, change that situation. Turn it around. You're an 1159 God. Turn that thing around, Father God, today. And make an open show of the devil himself. Hallelujah. Make all the naysayers get silent. Close the mouth of all the naysayers. Close the mouth of all the dragons. Close the mouth of all the haters. Close the mouth of all those that say it is not possible. That think that we cannot go forward. We go forward in faith. Believe in you, Father God. Forward in faith. Believe in you, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray unto day. Hallelujah. We seal this prayer with a mighty amen, amen, and amen. This prayer is sealed by the firepower of the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God bless you. Thank you for coming on. Ooh, I hope you have a wonderful day. May the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be upon you. And like I say, share the share and the channel if you'd like and subscribe and just go in peace with the Lord and just be encouraged and be motivated by faith. Move forward in Jesus name. Amen and amen. Love you with the love of Jesus Christ. Peace be unto you.